Long-term disability insurance claims. Why are your remedies limited under ERISA law? Hello, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board-certified disability attorney and author of the Disability Help Book, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery and Prove Your Claim. Another way that ERISA law actually favors insurance companies over individual policyholders is the fact that your remedies are limited. Basically, what that means in layman's terms is that when your insurance comes through your employer, there's not much that you can do to punish your insurance company if they treat you poorly or otherwise violate the terms of your policy or even the law. Someone who buys their own individual policy on the free market, for example, could then take their insurer to court if they believe that they were abused in some way and sue them for all the damages that they sustained because of the wrongful denial of benefits. Private policies hold insurance companies much more responsible for their violations. For example, what if they refused your benefits alleging a pre-existing condition when in fact you didn't have one? You could take them to court and ask for pain and suffering or mental anguish damages if you had an individual policy. If your policy was not governed under ERISA law and you could show that the insurance company acted in bad faith, they could be sued for bad faith or punitive damages. Perhaps help for your painful back issue was delayed and now you need multiple surgeries that could have been avoided. That could be extremely expensive. Of course, nothing is guaranteed, but at least with an individual policy, you have the option to bring a lawsuit. Not so much with policies that fall under federal ERISA law. Under federal ERISA law, you only have the right to enforce the terms of the policy, meaning they only have to pay you your monthly benefits and your back benefits. Another unfortunate result of ERISA is that it's incredibly difficult to force your insurance company to pay your legal fees if you have to sue them. In most cases, this is considered par for the course when the winning party in a claim goes to court, but not under ERISA. While some people have been able to make this happen, it's not automatic. This is just a few of the ways that gaining disability insurance benefits is made more difficult under ERISA law. But it's a big reason why reform is needed. Though it seems that ERISA law is only enacted to protect the insurance companies and their denial of your benefits, there are ways to use ERISA law to get you the benefits that you deserve. Mark Whitehead & Associates has over 20 years of experience in ERISA-based claims, and we can help you win your benefits. For more information on this topic, check out my free ebook, Disability Insurance Policies, How to Unravel the Mystery and Prove Your Claim. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy, or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.